Hey, Cree. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Joe. Um, I, uh, we just finished uh, finish uh, my program, the two months uh, program I do, um, let's say more or less three weeks ago. Yep. And I wanted to ask you a few questions. The one being, the first one being, why did you decide to do my program, my 60 days program in the first place? Okay. Um, it all started as a pure coincidence, really, um, out of curiosity. So, um, because um, I'm very interested in therapies, meditation, I was looking for something to deal with my condition, which causes chronic pain. And uh, I was thinking to adopting a therapy that is different from the usual normal therapy in brackets. So um, this is when I contact you and um, because I know that you were doing NLP. So I got interested into this form of therapy, alternative mm -hmm. therapy. And um, that's it, really. This is when I decided to, to take part of this course. Cool. So basically, you were looking for something which is not, was not the classic, uh, classic therapy. And, exactly. And not because I'm opposite to it. It's just because I was looking for something different, um, with a different approach. Great. What did you expect to achieve out of, uh, out of the uh, program? Um, okay. Initially, I, I'm honest, I didn't expect anything because I started out of curiosity. So when I start things, I usually tend not to expect anything out of it so that I don't get disappointed at the later stage. But um, It's a good strategy. Yeah. <laughs> and also, uh, my mind doesn't play a trick in expecting something and creating it. But um, I was just curious to see if I could bring uh, a change and a shift in how to deal with um, my condition. Um, as a meditation teacher, uh, I know how to deal with chronic pain uh, through breathing exercises, through different techniques, but um, I was looking for something more um, that was going to create that change and that shift that I wasn't able to do on my own with the techniques that I knew. So this is what I was hoping for, to achieve uh, new skills, something new that would bring that shift and that change. Um, in order to deal with, with chronic pain. Okay. Wow, so cool, Cree. So basically, you were already trying something, but you felt that uh, it wasn't enough and there was something maybe, like some intuition that told you that maybe there was something else uh, out there that you could learn in order to yes, I was, achieve I was... more with, your, with the condition, with your chronic pain. Is that exactly. right? Yeah, exactly. I was, I was aware that it wasn't enough. What I was doing wasn't enough. So I had to look for something, something else, something more. Something new. And when did you try, now that we did what we did, which was quite interesting journey, um, yeah. is what happened? What did you learn? How do you feel about it? Um... It has been great. It has been really two crazy months. Um, I feel good. I feel really good. Um, obviously, the condition uh, is still here. Uh, for those that are listening, my condition is endometriosis. So there are some days during the months that are worse than others. And um, although the condition is still here, now I've got what I call superpowers to deal with this in a sense that I've achieved new skills that give the possibility to um, see things in a different perspective. So it's almost, it's like I'm training my mind to be um, actively positive rather than passively positive, if it makes any sense. No, it does so make so much sense for me. So before... I had used to have before the training, I used to have positive 
negative thoughts and just say, come on, you can do this, deal with this in a different, in this way. But now it's almost like if this thought has become an action. So instead of being a passive thought, it's, a, it's an active thought. This is the main difference. And it has been also so much fun because I'm an extremely visual person. So to deal with images and interact with it and uh, to create this, um, this sort of, you know, uh, painting that you have in front of you with your past, the present and the future, it just opens up different possibilities and it really, really makes a difference in how you deal with things on a daily basis. Okay, so cool. <laughs> so so just to recap, I see, I see, well, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, I'm going to ask you maybe a, a little recap. So do you think that is a, there was a big shift from when you start when we started and today yeah it, it took it took a while to get into it because initially it was very overwhelming because I, as i said i'm extremely visual so all those images that were coming through uh, to process those images it was quite a lot but then once it, you got into it, it it almost became part of my daily routine without realizing it was almost like an intrinsic thing that just I do it all the time without even thinking about it while I take the shower while I'm cooking and it's just fantastic it's just amazing it's so good so basically that's that's basically the how they call the transformation on you start in a way then you learn some tools you figure it out how to navigate within on your inside as you say it's as an active participant of your inner um or the, the inner things that you receive the images and the oh and the and the voice in the head and all of a sudden you feel that you are active instead than passive and that has changed exactly. completely the the, the this approach is the and thing. this is the main thing that i became an active person rather than a passive person in my positive uh, behavior i always thought that you know although my problem I always act as a, with a positive attitude, but this positive attitude was passive rather than active. Yeah. And this is the main difference. And now I'm active with it and try. So that, that shift, that change that I was looking for, it really came really strong. Because and as you it, say, and as you say now, the change seems it's not something that now you have to do it. It's just become subconscious, a new way yeah. for you. So it's, it's just like, embedded in you. And now it's the you. It's kind of the new you with a exactly. new way of thinking. My, in my new, it's a new way of thinking. It's a completely new way of thinking and, and, and looking at things in a new perspective. So um, it's a sub subconscious process. It just happened. And this is why I call superpowers. <laughs> Superpower. Great, great. Okay. La last, and the last question will be, will you recommend it and why? Of course, I will recommend it if you want to get superpowers, 100%. <laughs> yes, but baby. I, I will recommend it to anyone, really, mm. not just people that have got um, health issues or other kind of issues. I think it's something that everyone should do just to understand how to, um, how to live your life in a, in a, in a, positive active way and that you can actually interact with your mind and create beautiful things rather than being a passive uh how do you say when you are um a passive yeah. receiver or your the internal representation exactly You're not just a receiver but just actually acting so yeah 100 percent will recommend it to everyone <laughs> i adore you uh, Chris, this has been amazing. I'm so happy as well to, to talk to you and to hear that this transformation happened and that you're happy with, the, uh, with what we've done because we kind of did it together. Well, I have to thank you for that. <laughs> and I think I thank you back. I'm going gonna, gonna to just say um, uh, goodbye. We're going to just carry on talking. I'm just going to stop the recording. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.